Hi guys, so today I wanted to try out some splatter art. Splatter art is super easy to do and it's just like kids do it. It's like a kid's activity basically. And you know what? I thought why not do it since I have nothing else really going for me these days. Like school over, which I'm glad about, like I really didn't enjoy the process of doing all classes online, but I guess I really didn't have an option, so I'm glad it's over at least. But when you do splatter art, some people think it's just like a process of like flinging paint everywhere, but it's actually a little bit more complicated than that. You have to think about like what size size you want each drop of paint, what different colors you want, do you want to make a pattern, do you not want to make a pattern? Is this abstract? Does it have a purpose? Is there a form? Is there no form? What it's just a lot to think about and that's gonna be hard for me because I'm kind of stuck with like four different paint colors, but I want a darker paint color, but the paint color that I actually want isn't like, basically the paint color I want isn't there, and so I have to make my own, and this is stressful because like, I'm not that good at color theory, so like if this turns out bad, it's not my fault. Overall, I would say, if you want to try this at home, use a color wheel, because that could really be helpful. I didn't use a color wheel, and that's how I know that it makes it a little bit harder. Also, buy really good tape, because when you're taping this up, you don't want to like realize after that you have a few spots that leaked because that will just kind of ruin the whole thing. Because the thing about chaotic design is it has to be chaotic in the places where it should be, but like very clean and like simple in the places that it's not, or else the whole thing just looks wrong. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you see someone like paint a house and they do like one part with like splotches or a different pattern, it looks good. But if the pattern leaks and goes somewhere else, it doesn't look good anymore because that's just not the vibe you're going for. You have to stick with one thing or I'll just be aesthetic at all. Oh my god. Okay, if I'm being 100% honest, the part you saw before was filmed like hours ago and I really have no way of recalling any of that information. So we're just going to pretend like that's not the case and I was saying like a fluid sentence even though I'm not. So basically, splatter art is something that is fun. Your rules do what you want. A lot of people also forget that not everyone has to like what you make. Like That's just a simple fact. Not everyone's going to like what you make. Not everyone's going to care about what you make. But as long as you like what you make and you enjoy doing it and it's important to you and it matters to you, that's why you're doing it, not for other But like, what people sometimes forget is like, if you do things for other people, you would literally be on a straight line doing nothing because no matter what you do someone's gonna find a reason to complain about it if you make something like colorful someone's gonna be like oh that's too colorful if you make something too dark people are gonna say it's too dark if you make something in the middle people are gonna say it's boring so just pick what you like and just do that so we're done um i was saying something but my camera cut off again so this is the sneaker i think it looks really cool the only difference I would make is probably using brighter color in it. colors next time because it would just pop, it would just look better, it would just make sense, it would just be a much cooler vibe. But you know what, I'm happy with how it turned out, I think it looks awesome. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, something, anything, subscribe even. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.